hello everyone welcome to my channel asp.net core and today i'm going to show you just migrate uh, the higher version to the lower version project actually actually visual studio 2022 uh, occurs a uh, lots of problems uh, in uh, .net uh, core 6.0 uh, .net 6.0 version so again uh, i'm going to the lower version actually so just 3.1 so just my uh, just copy all these files from your higher version to the lower version so Visual Studio 2022 uh, is removed from my computer and uh, again I come to the Visual Studio 2019 and the project uh, the all things are the similar there is a no changes in the project but uh, only the framework will be changed and uh, here we have a new things is arrived like the similar uh, in the older uh, tutorials like a startup file found in the Visual Studio 2019 and uh, also the framework version is 3.1 but all these things are similar like the areas folder is similar uh, data folder models and everything is uh, similar in the last video tutorials so uh, if you guys if you are working uh, with me uh, for this project so just all these files are copied from the higher version to the lower version because visual studio 2022 is not working well so uh, so you can say uh, it's a problem in visual studio 2022 so uh, i'm totally uh, just copy and paste all these folders from the new newly created uh, project e-commerce with angular so after that i uh, apply the migration uh, add migration first that is the first migration also remove the account folder from the older uh, from the newer version of Visual Studio 2022 and uh, in the old style uh, I was creating uh, identities in the Visual Studio 2019 as usual so uh, after migration you got update database command again and your database will be updated after this command okay and uh, you will see that output like that okay now okay 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 well 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 now now the scaffold your identities uh, in a areas folder and here you will see that uh, customer class is already existing and uh, you know that uh, I have customer class and their repositories also so uh, oh, oh, oops first of all check all these things in the data folder application DB context add uh, identity DB context first of all add uh, customer at here okay and the remove the customer from that uh, DB set because uh, customer is actually application user class for the identity user and the customer is also a inherited from your identity user class and also we have a services dot add identity customer application role and these are already existing and that is the similar uh, you have to seen in the older videos so just add a new scaffold first of all check the model class of the customer where you will see your name address address to city postal code everything is fine because the email and the id is not mentioned because the that uh, things is actually existing in the identity user class so there is a no need to add extra no need to add extra properties in your customer class and after that override and scaffold your identities and updating dependencies information scaffolding and building project oops getting an error there is running the selected code generator the file to build okay first of all to build your project uh, to add before going to add identity so just click on the build project and you will see that error list 
and you will see that the customer is actually in the repositories and the services so there is a no need so first of all comment all these repositories and the interfaces of your customer class so just go to the services and infrastructure and the cust i customer and comment the customer class and after that i will use if uh, if if it is needed and necessary then i will use it okay so first of all comment the customer class okay and the customer repository also and again to build your project hey guys thank you uh, thank you for watching and please don't forget please subscribe my channel if you like this video and uh, sorry for uh, your uh, inconvenience uh, in the project that is actually uh, i i much not comfortable in visual studio 2022 uh, uh, yet but uh, in the latter i will uh, try my uh, try to do better uh, in visual studio 2022 so sorry for the inconvenience and uh, uh, and please uh, if you like these all these videos of your sp.net core uh, channels so please try to subscribe and uh, try to share your video share this videos on your facebook accounts insta and uh, whatsapp accounts and also the telegram and uh, signals accounts so there is the social networking so thank you guys for watching this video